Hey, we connected. Uh, guys, I'm Jessica, the furry family coach, and I am live in Costco. My connection is not that great, so let's see if we can do this whole live video and um, not get disconnected. But, um, so in I'm in Costco and I'm looking at the Kirkland brand dog food. So I wanted to, let me flip the camera around. Look at this Kirkland brand dog food with you and talk about um, how to read the label on it. It's a very popular dog food brand. And you can see it says, oh goodness, let me see if I can fix this. You can see it. Can you see that? Turkey meal is the number one ingredient. So um, let's talk about that for a second, okay? Because turkey meal, what does that mean? Um, and Th Susan Thixon actually recently put out a really good article about what turkey meal means. And I know I've talked about it um, in some of my YouTube videos before, but just in case um, and of course we're looking at grain free which there's a huge huge issue going on right now with grain free diets because we don't know exactly what about these grain free diets are causing dogs to um, have heart issues but let's talk about the turkey meal and what that means so when you say um, any type of meat meal what that basically means is that any leftovers um, on the slaughterhouse floor uh, carcasses and um, the like so you're getting a lot of anything and an and opal which is basically any part of a slaughtered animal that isn't fit for human consumption so you've got um, uh, leftovers on the slaughterhouse floor you've got uh, opal which is parts of the animal that isn't considered fit for human consumption and then you've got um, carcasses of animals. And there's really no standard as to how like fresh any of this is, but that's basically, basically what you're looking at. They take all three of those things, and this is according to the USDA. So this isn't something that like I'm just pulling off of the internet somewhere. This is according to the USDA. So turkey meal, or um, let's look at this one. This one is, I mean, they're being very upfront about it. Beef meal right and sweet potato so they're being very upfront about the number one ingredient is a meal byproduct okay so they're taking those three things they're taking leftovers from slaughterhouses they're taking um, carcasses of animals and then they're taking opal which is anything that is considered not fit for human consumption they're taking all of those and let's see if i can turn this back they're taking all of those products which are um, not fit for human consumption according to the USDA. They are high heat processing this um, product, which is basically the leftovers from carcasses that are slaughtered for human consumption. So they're taking all of that, they're high heat processing it, and which basically means there is little to no, and this is again according to the USDA, there is little to no nutritional value left in the in the in the product after they're done with processing it and the reason that pet food manufacturers love using meat meal products wow. is because it's shelf stable they have high heat processed it so much that it's it's um you wind up with like this powder um dry powder at the end so they can basically store it in like silos it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It doesn't have to, you know, be frozen. None of that, which you would think if you were actually getting meat in um, a product, it would have to be fr uh, refrigerated or frozen, especially for, um, you know, while you're transporting it. Not the case with meat meal because it's high heat processed. There is little to no nutritional value left in it. And so that's what, let's turn this back around and see if we can get um, a good shot of a label here on one of these. Okay, let's look at the ingredients label. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can't rotate the phone, guys. So, I'm gonna rotate that. Whoop. Sorry here, guys. Never, 
never know what's going to happen in a live video. Okay, so the number one ingredient is turkey meal, which we just talked about how there's absolutely little to no nutritional value in that product. Sweet potatoes, which is a carbohydrate. Peas, which is um, sugar and carbohydrates. Potatoes, carbohydrates. Canola oil, a highly processed um, product. Tomato, flaxseed, natural flavor, salmon oil. Which, by the way guys, how fast is salmon oil going to spoil? You're going to wind up with a rancid oil in this bag before you even get it home to your pet. Um, and we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, one thing I will say, they've got blueberries and raspberries here, which is great. Um, and I'm looking for, I'm looking for salt. Let's see if we can find the salt in this. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk and read at the same time, guys. Sorry. <laughs> here it is. Salt. Oh my gosh. Salt is, I was looking way down here thinking salt would be way down here. So we've got all of this. Everything I just talked to you about, natural flavor, goodness knows what natural flavor is, salmon oil, and then salt. Now, we talked about this in another live video um, a couple weeks ago, and Rodney Habib actually is the one who coined the term the salt divide, because everything after salt on this label is less than 1%. So we're looking at, um, let's see, chicory root, taurine, tomatoes, blueberries, raspberries, yucca, all of this is less than 1%, because according to AFCO standards, Salt can only be no more than 1% of your total um, guaranteed analysis in, 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 in the uh, ingredient label. So everything past that is less than 1%. So we're basically, the only meat listed is turkey meal, which we know has little to no nutritional value. So there is no meat really at all before the 1%. So what are we really, when we're buying this product, what are we really feeding to our pets, right? So I just wanted to go over that with you because I know this Kirkland brand of dog food is a really, really popular brand. Um, a lot of people buy it. I'm gonna try to get this 35 pound bag up with one hand. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. I know the video is probably dropping out. I will save it and post it so you can come back to this because I definitely want you to be able to read a label. It's so important to read a pet food label when you're out looking for um, if, if you're feeding kibble to your dogs, which this is all this um, video is about. Obviously, you know, I am a big proponent for fresh food, but I understand um, if all you can afford is feeding kibble, then you need to know how to read an ingredient label on a bag of kibble. Really super popular brand, Kirkland brand. The only thing before salt, the only meat before salt is turkey meal or uh, in this other one, a beef meal. So we know there is little to no nutritional value coming from whatever resemblance of meat is actually in this product. It's not a good thing. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that real quick since I'm here in Costco and that's why it keeps cutting out because the reception in Costco is not that great. Um, so I'm trying not to get other people in the video. <laughs> uh, but so that's basically one of the things I love to talk about is nutrition. I talk about it a lot um, in Seven Miracle Steps to Training Your Dog, my new ebook. I put a link in the description of the video. Grab yourself a copy. It will help you out tremendously in um, figuring out what you need to be feeding your dog. So go ahead and grab it. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I am so sorry the video kept cutting out, but I will post it so you'll be able to see the whole video as soon as it renders. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching live, guys. I really appreciate it. Post in the comments what you're feeding your dog and if this helped you to learn how to read an ingredient label. Um, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.